demand for COVID tests, it's up from coast to coast as many prepare for holiday gatherings. But many are also finding empty store shelves or long lines at testing sites. Tonight, our fact check team looking into what caused the testing shortage. Megan, from New York to D.C., we see long lines for testing and so many empty shelves right now where at-home COVID kits used to be. The fact check team joins me now, John and Janae. And Janae, we start with you. So I asked this, so far into this pandemic, why are we now seeing all these shortages? So President Biden says it is not a failure. He says that there are not enough COVID-19 tests because the virus spread quicker than anyone had thought it would. But the president declared on Independence Day our independence from COVID-19. Now that celebration was too early and COVID-19 continues to evolve and be a threat. Criticism pouring in from health experts who say the administration has been too reactive to fighting the virus and has depended too much on vaccinations. Now, even if you are vaccinated, you can not only get COVID-19, but you can spread it. And medical experts across the country say that the 500 million COVID-19 tests that the administration is sending to households is good, but at-home tests should have been more readily available months ago. And that the administration needs to commit to having rapid at-home tests available for every American to be able to test twice a week. Now, with 330 million people in the U.S., more will have to be done. And on that important topic of testing, John, you looked into the supply over this past year of the pandemic and really has producing at-home testing kits been a high priority? So obviously for the companies that actually produce those tests, it's been a high priority, but the public health focus that we've seen here in the U.S., not so much. Of course, earlier this year, testing was done at drive-throughs or at walk-in lab sites. But in January of this year, at-home testing hadn't even been fully developed yet, and the FDA still needed to approve a number of tests. But as President Biden took office, he promised to make testing in general more widely available and inexpensive. There are only 13 at-home test kits right now that are approved by the FDA, and they aren't too cheap, costing from $10 to all the way up to $125 each, based on if you want an antigen test or a PCR test. Abbott Diagnostics makes three of the approved tests. Reporting from the New York Times showed that the company actually threw away parts from as many as 8 million test kits, laid off workers producing them. Now Abbott has responded to that saying that many of those tests were over their shelf life, but manufacturers of these FDA approved tests have laid off workers with spikes in testing demand, making it very difficult to plan budgets for the rest of the year. And this is just another one of the weak points in our government's plan to cover COVID-19. Certainly a dramatic and major supply and demand issue we are experiencing right now. John and Janae, thank you so much. Coming up, the Fact Check team takes a look at why people in other countries are paying less, if anything at all really, than Americans are paying for COVID-19 take-home test kits. <laughs>